Hello everyone, I'm Zephyrin and this is lesson 4 of the Mastering Mind Super Series and today I will be teaching you the 1 2 1 and 1 2 2 1 patterns which are two very common patterns in Mind Super which are basically extensions of the 1 2 pattern from the previous video so highly recommend you check that one out if you are unfamiliar with the 1 2 pattern but yeah let's get into it so first of all let's start with the one two one pattern so if you see a one two and a one all next to each other on a flat wall then the pattern states that the tile that is adjacent to the one is a, always a mine and same thing with the other one so both tiles that are adjacent to the ones are mines and the tile that is adjacent to the two is always safe. So let's just take a second to see the logic behind it, see why that is. So it is very helpful to realize that the one to one is just an extension of the one two pattern. And it is just simply two one two patterns that are just next to each other. So you see that we have a one two here and a one two here. So if we recall the one two rule, we know that the tile that is one away from the one is always safe. So this one would be safe. And the tile that is one away from the two, which would be here, is always mine. So we would know, based on the first one, two, one up here, that this one's safe and this one's a mine. And if we look at this other one, two, one that comprises the pattern, we know that this one, one away from the two, is a mine. And this one would be safe. But just for the sake of simplifying what we need to do for the pattern, we can just remember that the two tiles adjacent to the ones are mines and everything else is self-explanatory um, moving onward. So that is the logic of the one two, one basically just the one two pattern. You don't even need to technically memorize this, but it's just for you know easy gameplay when if you see one two, one you can immediately just remember, okay, there's a mine where the ones are and then just quickly move on if you want to instead of having to think out the both one two patterns like I just did. So here we have another example of a one two one, but you'll notice something is a little different with this one. So again, we do have a one two and a one against a flat wall right here, but we have this perpendicular wall that is running right next to the pattern. And if you recall from the previous lesson, we did cover the one two pattern and what happens when there is a perpendicular wall. And if you recall, um, the pattern holds true even if there is a wall on the side of the one in a one, two. So if you see a one, two, one, and there is a perpendicular wall, uh, wall that is right next to either of the ones or both at the same time, which is also possible, the pattern still holds true and you can put a mine um, adjacent to each of the ones along the main wall here. And yeah, just to show that it is completely safe, just like that, and you can move on. All right, so here we have an example of a double one, two, one pattern. So right over here, we actually have two one, two, ones that are overlapping. We have this one and this one. And again, pattern still applies. You just look at the ones and it's the tiles adjacent. Um, for each one, two, one. So there, there, and there. And yeah. All right. So moving on to the one, two, two, one pattern. So easiest way to think about this pattern is just that it's essentially the opposite of the one, two, one pattern. So as you can see here, we have a one, two, two, one on a flat wall. And again, this is just an extension of the one, two pattern. So it's two, one, two patterns. Here's a one, two, and here's a one, two. So logic is basically just that if we play out the both one, twos, um, start with this one, the tile that's one away from the one, which is the edge of the board would be safe, but it's the edge of the board. So technically it is uncovered. And the tile that's one away from the two is a mine. And if we look at this one, two pattern, we know that the one on the side, the one is safe. And the tile that is one away from the two is a mine. What we see here is that now we're looking at two tiles that are on the inside that are adjacent to the twos are always going to be mines. So quick way to just remember it is if you see a one, two, two, one, just think twos are mines and 
Yeah, just that one two one and one two two one patterns are opposite of each other's so one two one you put the flags where the ones are and for one two two one you put the flags where the twos are and yeah just to demonstrate so it is safe over here we have another one two two one coincidentally over here um, flags go where the twos are and yeah works out just fine all right so just a quick example of a one two two one that so that happens to not be on the edge of the board. So we have the one, two, two, one here. Flat wall is up here. And yes, yeah, so the middle two are always going to be the mines. And we can just continue on from there. All right, so just like for the one, two, one pattern, for the one, two, two, one pattern, if there is a perpendicular wall on either side or both sides of the one so if there's a wall here and we have a wall here then the pattern still holds true because the pattern holds true for the one two pattern which it is just made up of so we can go ahead and put our two flags here and yeah totally fine with that perpendicular wall on the side of the one all right and last example for lesson today, just a one, two, one, actually a double one, two, one pattern, um, right near one, two, two, one pattern. Took a strangely long time to find, but here we go. So one, two, one pattern we have there and there. So you remember, just put the mines on the ones. And again, if you forget um, which it is, like if you mix them up or whatever, or you're unsure, just remember the logic of the one twos and if you just play out the logic for each one two then you'll arrive at the correct answer so there we go and for this one two two one you have the mines in the middle one two there one two there so you have there and there and just like that we're on our way to keep going so yeah that'll be it for this lesson and yeah we'll continue with some more patterns in the future but yeah, again, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. And until next time, thanks for watching.